So voting at the ballot box didn't get you the results you wanted? What's your options now? Hey, Dave Edwards, Treasure Valley Dave here. And going through my emails again, found another interesting one that I thought you might want to know about. Maybe give you some hope. I don't know. So you went voting at the ballot box again and again and again. Your side never wins. The things that you want never wins. But dag it, we're going to get the rascals next time, right? Well, next time sometimes never comes. So what have a lot of people done? Well, according to this article, millions have voted for Trump since 2020 with their feet, meaning they moved. Uh, just uh, This is a very recent article. Over the past two years, vast numbers of Americans picked up and moved in a mobile society like ours. That's not news. What is news is where they're moving from and where they're going to. Nah, I want to know more about this, don't you? Turns out there's a max, mass exodus, leaving Biden strongholds and heading to MAGA country. Huh, I hadn't noticed. Sarcasm alert. News census data shows that from 2021 to 2022, more than 2 million people moved from urban areas. We're not just talking states. Urban areas largely controlled by Democrats and relocated to um, exurbs. I'm not sure what that is. And uh, more rural areas that uh, largely voted for Donald Trump. They're talking about places that lost was uh, Los Angeles, Cook County, I and mean, Chicago, New York, Philadelphia County. Um, in Texas, so Texas is a state that went uh, for Trump over Biden in the presidential uh, 52 to 46, but there's two counties that saw the largest migration out, and that was Dallas and Harris, because and they both went heavily for Biden. So even in conservative states, you're still going to have pockets of, you know, Democrats, Marxism, liberalism, stuff like that. We'll talk about the uh, what kind of tips their hat, tips their hand when it comes to that stuff. Um, also, the same thing we saw in. Uh, Salt Lake County in Utah, which went for Biden in the state that had carried Trump. So, yeah, even in those conservative states, you get down to the county level. Uh, the county's run by uh, Democrats and stuff. They're losing, too. So um, this article says, look at these two maps. Shows the net migration. One of them does, the first one, from 2021 to 2022. The other one shows the election results from 2020. Across the country, it says, the places losing population almost all voted for Biden, and the ones gaining are almost all Trump counties. Interesting. So here's the uh, migration. Um, the red is negative, meaning they moved out, and the blue is where they moved to. So look at all these red spots over here in Cal, California, Oregon, Washington. And where did they move to? Well, certainly a lot here in Phoenix, Las Vegas. Um, and, you know, everyone says, oh, everybody from California moved to Idaho. Well, no, not that many. Some did, um, but not all. And here's another thing. So we've been talking with a lot of people that have come up from the Phoenix area. They're saying that a lot of these people moved there, and they're not conservative people. It's not just conservatives. It's everybody, you know, suffering the human condition down there with crime, poverty, they don't want their kids to grow up in that kind of a mess. They're moving out. They're not conservative, and guess how they're voting? You remember that big uh, brouhaha that happened in Arizona during the last election? It was a squeaker that fell to the side of the uh, the Democrats. Um, looking across here, there's Denver. People are moving out of the Denver area. People are moving out of the Salt Lake City area. Um, same with Texas. We can see the a lot of people moved to Texas, but there's places that are uh, uh, people moved out of. Obviously, Florida, woo, that thing's almost all blue, except for right down there at the tip. And the same over here, the liberal uh, eastern seaboard. But anyway, so, wow. Imagine that you'd run a country like that where this many people don't get a say, and then we end up with, Presidents that are, well, let's say, um, challenge the imagination and, and not in a good way. So, yeah, there's all the red counties are ones that voted for Trump. Moving right along. So it said, how, why did this happen? 
you know, conventional wisdom says COVID, stuff like that. But um, not every city in America was suffering from those same things. So there must have been something else going on. It wasn't just COVID that caused this. But the cities that how they responded, like the ones that um, are getting hit the worst were controlled by Democrats who pushed draconian lockdowns, needlessly shuttered their schools, forced people to wear masks, even outdoors, required vaccine passports, let crime run rampant, punished the residents with high taxes, and suffocated businesses with onerous regulations. So it's not just that they're run by Democrats, but also all these other uh, data points, the way they act against the people. What's more, Americans aren't just quitting the urban hellscapes or cities, and they're moving out of blue states entirely. Well, that's true, too. Um, I believe California has lost a congressional representative, and um, that's because they lost population. Continuing on with this article, the problem, as we've pointed out in this space before, is that millions, that while millions are abandoning progressive utopias, they tend to bring their liberal utopian ideologies with them. As a result, the di diaspora threatens to make the country more leftist, not less. So that's what I'm hearing is going on exactly in the Phoenix area. But here in the Boise area, in Idaho in general, it's exactly the opposite of that. The people, remember I said not everyone from California is moving to Idaho? We're fighting it's the conservative people that are in um, escaping California, are moving to the Boise area, moving to Idaho. In fact, the um, previous chairman to the Republican Party said that, all of uh, Tom Luna, said that um, the Californians coming to Idaho is making Idaho even more conservative. So, and that's been my experience too from what I've seen. Um, the uh, state Senate that was elected last November is the most conservative Senate that we've ever seen in this state. Um, and we're still working on the, the House. And the House is getting better, but still we have some of those rhinos, which are Democrats in sheep's clothing, whatever it is. They have the seniority and they have the committee chairmanships and they're, they still get to steer the boat. But there's a lot of people out there rowing that aren't happy with the direction they're going in. I expect to see that change more and more as we go. So what can be done? Well, this guy says that those of us who believe in a liberty, a civil society, equal justice, who want limited government and free markets, who believe in personal responsibility, who want criminals behind bars, and people free to live their faith, those who want parents to be in control of children's education, we need to stop cowering to the left. Well, that's true. Um... I don't see that going on up here. I don't see too many people cowering to the left. And I mean, whether it's, I listen to talk radio, local talk radio, Kevin Miller, hey, check him out, KIDO. Um, he, uh, the people that call in there, they they don't cower. They call it exactly like it is. Uh, look on the back, bumper stickers on the back of pickups, or they're flying the flags on the back of their pickup, or off the, the post on the front porch. They're not cowering to the left. Um, we're just not like that here. And maybe, and you know what? I've seen leftists put up their signs in their front yard and they don't get all beat up and taken down and, and made to suffer. And, but because we welcome, you know, all ideas, but we just ask that, you know, uh, whatever results come from your ideas, that you own that. And the results that come from the conservative ideas, yeah, we're proud to own that because that's exactly what we want. We want to, uh, well, just like this author continues, we need to be proud of our values, evangelize them, build up institutions that will strengthen and defend them. When we said talking institutions, he's not talking just government like the cops. Obviously, that's true. But also uh, churches and uh, like the Boise Rescue Mission to help people out. We need a hand up. Other institutions like, um, I don't know, maybe local kid institutions for Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, stuff like that. And I'm not saying those because I know that they've had their issues. But we need to support those institutions. We need to support our communities. We need to support each other in um, you know, maintaining conservative lifestyle here. It doesn't matter how you vote. But what I find is people that live in Idaho live a more conservative lifestyle. Um, in general, by and large, especially when you compare it to the stuff that's going on in, say, well, I don't know, California. I bet you give me a couple examples yourself. 
this guy says, or we could do that, or we could just sit back and let the let let the leftist oh, I add in Marxist virus spread. And this guy wants there to know that's not a veiled endorsement of Donald Trump, just an observation of the conservative politics that Trump largely embraced. And you know what? For those of you that hold up, we saw the same kind of exuberance with uh, Reagan. We just came off of the malaise of Jimmy Carter, high inflation. Oh my gosh. It was uh, it was really terrible. Um, interest rates, like 20%. And then once Trump came in, things started to turn around. Uh, we got the sense of pride, nationalism. It's like you're proud to be an American again. How many of y'all are proud to be, if if you gauge America by its government, how many of y'all are proud to be Americans? Maybe the next two presidential election will bring in some change. But I got to tell you, even if it doesn't, I'd still rather be in Idaho because Idaho, you know, where we live that conservative lifestyle. We support each other up here. Um, we don't cower in the corner because somebody, you know, wants us to call them by a different pronoun than maybe what we grew up with. Anyway, so hey, if you have some comments on this, please leave, please leave them below. Like this video and uh, subscribe to the channel. That means so much. Well, as, as always, this is Treasure Valley Dave. Looking forward to helping you get home.